people welcome back everyone so we're going to continue our next productivity tool that i want us to look at is customer service tools as businessmen or women as startups as entrepreneurs as students or individuals or even employees there are times we we'll want to get feedbacks from people customers clients relatives friends on so many things businessmen or women will want feedbacks from their customers clients Individuals can want information from their release or feedback on everything, survey, whatever it is, you always need a feedback. How do you how can you easily do this digitally without having to stress yourself by traditionally typing questions, printing them on paper, taking it across, emailing, or whatever? But with certain apps, you can just do this and send the links. People fill the forms and they send it back to you within a few minutes or seconds. Now, let's look at some few tools. I would love us to use Google Forms when it comes to this form creation for service or whatever. It is quite fast and simple. As usual, we'll go to our App Store or Play Store and we'll go and search for Google Forms. Normally, you see Forms app that will come. If it's not already installed, please install it first. If it is, then we are done, you open. When you open, this is how the interface of your Google Forms will look like. We have Google Forms and we have surveys. Surveys will give you quizzes, themes, and a lot more. Now, let's look at how we can use each of this. I will want us to look at using templates and also using the forms from scratch okay just a minute okay so what are we to do we open the forms when we open the forms we have google forms and we have survey now let us play around the survey first and then we'll go to the google forms the surveys are mostly used if we want to put in some template and utilize some template. So when you click on the survey hat, you're going to find this screen. You can go to more and then we'll come to Google Forms. Or we could have just gone to the plus sign and we'll come to Forms. I would like to go to more and come to Google Forms. At the top left corner, there is the three button menu there. When I will click on it. There is something we call template. Let's click on template. Now, the template gives us pre existing forms that the system has already designed, which we can just utilize within the shortest possible time and make additions if we want. Or we can use it just like that. We have templates on education, we have templates on health, we have templates on food, we have templates on applications, we have templates on registration, templates on travel and talk. Any which way we can choose one. Let's just play around the templates for feedbacks, that's customer satisfaction. Here you want to get customer's view on our company. So we click on it. See? Voila, it has already been designed. Here you want customers to give feedbacks on your company's ratings. So it asks, express your value for a company from a scale of 0 to 5. Fix your correct scale for our price. So it is there. Moment spent with our executives, enjoyed, happy, irritated. Do you share our positives with your friends or colleagues? Any comment to share with us? This is a template. So with this, you don't need to do too much. If everything here works for your business, then you are fine. If not, you may want to add some other more comments. Then you, you click the plus sign and state it there. But you see, when I go here now, I may have to take you through a whole lot more, which we'll do at the creating new template. Uh, sorry, creating entirely a new form. So let's see how we can utilize it. So if this thing fits for your customer satisfaction, then all you have to do is click submit. 
you see when you click submit it says collect email address do you want to collect email address of your respondents yes or no maybe i want to allow multiple responses do you want one person to respond to the form more than once i don't want it because if one person can give me two different opinions then it means they are never they don't they are not they are not sure of what they want to say so i want one form per person so i will not allow it now they ask the third one allow respondents to edit responses of a submission after they submit it and they made a mistake can they retrieve it back so that they can re-edit it mm, i don't want it because what if somebody gets a feedback and they realize that a friend gave this so they want to go back so you leave it as it is do you want to allow respondents to view summary of all responses yes that is fine they can view what they have already indicated then you go to submit So here the system will be trying to, will be creating the form for you. So you see form has been successfully created. Now, what do you see form link? There is the link to the form. We have the copy form, copy the link, view the form automatically shared. First of all, I like to always copy my form because I don't have all my customers or clients offered. I may need to paste it somewhere and reshare them. View form is just to view the form that you have created as a client. So you see, this is how the form appears to your client when they are there. So email address, express your value. You can take one, you know, uh, as well and all this. When they are done, they can choose to say, send me a copy of a response. Okay. I will always like, to, so if you want to share directly via email, you can just go to Google Mail and share or WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, or Notepad or share to other means can click or click but but i always copy it so that i can always go and paste because maybe you may have some of your clients who are on whatsapp some via email some on facebook diverse you understand okay so this is how it is when we want to utilize template great now you may have want to entirely create entirely a new blank form you can click on the plus sign and come to create blank form or if your app is off and let's assume that you come and open the apps form i don't want us to go to the app store all the time now that we downloaded we can always use our desktop or let's say our home screen to select the app so forms app mostly you can group you can keep them into the in the google wallet you know the google wallet can help you to organize everything that is related to what google so i normally like to put my stuff in there so if i if you don't find it here please go and to your google wallet if it's not there then it comes so my google wallet i find form apps immediately i open it says that google forms and i click on google forms that's the inform up here so the customer satisfaction that we did it is here so just a while ago now now we want to create an entirely blank new form for ourselves so how do we go about it you click on plus sign now we come to create blank form it's down there now this form here gives us entirely blank form where we want to put in everything by ourselves what form do you want to create maybe applicants registration form so how do we start we have the first one as an untitled form so we click on untitled form you clean it and put applicant registration form so here the description you can come and put new applicant form and now we are done with our titling that will come to what add add is our lines of questions so what is our first line now all this when you click on the ad you see the different descriptions subject to the kind of response you want this thing that we see here short answer long as a multiple choice they are subject to the response that we want so please remember and take note you do not just choose anything at all because you are seeing them there they are not there as an option to just choose irrespective of the response the response that you want to is what you are going to choose now let me quickly take you through 
Short answers are mainly for simple, short response from your clients or customers. Example, what is your name? Your age? Where do you live? You expect them to write short answers, so you use that one. Long answers means they can write maybe a long sentence or a mini paragraph. Maybe, tell us when was the last time you visited us? Or have you visited us before? If you have, what is your experience? It means the person may write something longer. Multiple choice is for the person being able to choose one out of the many of responses you give to them. So you ask somebody, what product color do you like? Red, gold, green, blue. You list them within your scope and you expect them to choose one. Check boxes are for a client or the, the, the one responding to be able to choose more than one. So how many colors do you prefer? So you've listed about four colors, red, green, blue, yellow, white. So you choose, I want green and blue or I want yellow and black. Drop down is for options where the person has an option of clicking and choosing responses and so on and so forth. We have linear scale, of course, we have date, time, and all that, but these are the most important ones and we meet all the time. So let's start, let's use them one after the other for the purpose of what we are doing. So the first one, we want an, a short answer. So we we'll click on short answer and then the question slot comes. Question says what? Full name. So this, then our answer is there. Now you see that the, the recycle bin means if we want to delete it. And then we have another field that is required. You know what the required means? The required means that we don't want it to be blank. You know, there are some forms. Sometimes people are lazy when they are filling forms. They want to answer what they want. But mind you, you that you are asking the questions, you need to know which questions are very important to you. If every question is important, then always pull the slide bar and it's always blue. That means that nobody can skip that question. Okay. Then we are done. We'll go, we go. Then, if we want another question, then we we'll come down to the plus sign. We click plus. Now, this time, let's try a long answer. A long answer means that state your and requirements. No, so let's say state clearly your expectation for this conference. Here I'm expecting the person to write more than just a short answer, so I have to use a long answer. And I want it, it's a required field because we are here to teach, so we need to make sure that we know what they want. The next one. Now let's try multiple choice. So multiple choice. I'll ask which section Okay. Which of the sections touched you? Multiple choice. So option one. Morning. Option two afternoon option three evening so you see here the person has more now supposedly out of this these are the only options i leave it that way but if i want to give the person to state another option maybe there was another option but i don't know or i don't have it offered i can put add other option it means that there will be a, a last option that says order. Do you get it? Do I need to require? Yes, required. I put in it there. Okay. Now let's go to check boxes. How to use check boxes? Okay. Uh, I use check boxes. Which section would you prefer next? next year's or next year's 
on friends.